G'day and welcome back to our Bohemian Common Sense campaign. So I'm going to do a restart because after that Polish incident, I uh, kept playing for a little bit, another couple of videos, and everything just went from bad to worse. So not even going to upload those ones. It was just, oh God, permanent record of how badly I was playing that night. So yeah, we're going to start again. We're going to try something a little bit different depending on how the relationships and everything go at the start here. Do, do, do. All right. Now, Austria found the only reason to get a royal marriage is to get his dynasty, which is nowhere else at the moment by the looks. Um, so we could do that, but I'm not going to. Who is hating us? Bavaria, Poland, Hungary. All right, well, we're going to set Brandenburg. They're the ones we're going to be going after. Who else was there? You know what? No, it's not said anyone else. Who hates Brandenburg? Saxony, Pomerania, Teutonic Order. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, we're going to immediately start fabricating on Berlin. Then we're going to look around for who we want on our side. We definitely want Saxony. Pomerania sound like they want to be part of this. And Nuremberg, no. Select the mission, form an alliance with Austria. No, slip up, I don't really care about any of these. Let's recycle that. All right, so at the moment we have two out of four, Saxony and Silesia. So we've got Saxony. We're trying to get Pomerania. Let's go for the Blattnet. We'll do the Royal Marriage. And then we'll do this Royal Marriage. I don't need to tell us about everything there. Alliance with the Platinet. We actually need to focus on admin. And let's see what we've got. Flash and reduction, perfect. Spy offense or diplo rep. Good question. We'll go for spy offense. No. Sort of short term, let's go for Diplo Rap. Spy offense to help us grab these claims without getting any aggressive expansion. Uh, Saxony, go for it. So we still have plenty of money because these are both level ones. Let's grab Discipline while we're here. I will forget it later. And while we're doing this, we need to bring our guys out. Do it all in one province because we don't care. And let's save some money up. Free Diplomat should go to another Elector. Let's go for Mites. And we are at 4 out of 4. No, we're at 3 out of 4. That's right, I'm trying to get Pomerania. Which we can do now. So let's bring him home. We don't want a Royal Marriage with him. We just want... Although... No, we'll save a Royal Marriage for an Elector. Right, let's go and improve with... Let's say Cologne. get alliances right before we declare war on this douchebag up here, the Brandenburger. No, Pomerania, sorry. We don't actually care what you think. Free Saloon is a free city. Vatislav the Ninth Griff. So, no aggressive expansion yet, we haven't been caught. I did change some message settings, so we'll find out now, get a pop-up uh, when we get caught fabricating claims, so we can check on aggressive expansion to see if it's worth it. More armies for us. I just got speed 5 for a bit. Alright, we got a Von Vetten, which is... 354 is pretty damn good. He is from Saxony as well. Alright, that's pretty cool. Plenty of Diplo points. Little 987 is about the way I want it. Alright, let's keep getting our army ready. Keep fabricating claims on Brandenburg. And keep it. Oh, actually, we can have a look now, can't we? Make sure we're voting for ourselves. Alright, so we have three votes. Mainz is going to vote for us soon. We're improving with Cologne as well. So we definitely shook that out properly. It's good. Nearly done with the claim on Brandenburg. 
So we will keep sending him back. We want all the claims we can get. Stick to speed five. Now we can get a mission. Become emperor. Sure. Just leave that one on. Plenty of supply there. Looking good. How's he going? Oh, inflation and prestige. Damn it. He's got no air yet. Usually gets it about 45, 46. Except a royal marriage. What would happen if he died? England and France would go to war. That'd be perfect. We'd be emperor, and England would have control of Austria. Which means they'd be at war with France all the time in the Burgundian area. Hmm. Even if you ally with him, he, you can't call him into wars against um, HRE members. And there's the Polish thing. Alright, let's get the claim on Sternberg. I only need it to start, we don't need it to finish. So we now have five votes. We shall bring back both of these guys for a second. Back to speed four. Now, Mainz would accept. And Cologne would accept. Perfect. Let's hope they're both actually accepted. Cologne, Mainz, Palatinate, Saxony. Four electors plus us. Five electors in this little power group. And Silesia, can't do anything about. Pomerania, uh, just for this war. So, let's forget this, turn the army maintenance back up, Let's see if we could do this on the 20th, uh, we need to send one guy back, send him to Platinum, and they need one diplomat free to declare this war, uh, we'll leave him down there for a while, alright he's allied just with Mecklenburg, that is awesome. Alright, on the 20th, Mecklenburg, oh Cologne, come on, pretty close. Alright, call everyone in except Cologne, take Berlin, we will go for it now. And we shall tell our guy to be aggressive, and we'll just sit back here and do nothing. Should be absolutely fine. Not even going to put a guy in charge. And Poland's allied to them and being called straight in. Perfect. So we're now going to lose this war. We would need a freaking fantastic leader. Best chance of that is to put the king in charge. Yeah, isn't he awesome? Alright, if he gets killed, what happens? We just get another from Vatten. Good. Alright, need to kill that army before anybody else comes over, like him. I actually won that. That was a little weird. Alright, well, Mecklenburg and Brandenburg came straight over there. We're about to be attacked. 24th. Guess out on the 20th. There's grasslands everywhere. These guys are really bad as well. Hmm. I think I would rather run away. If that stays mothballed, that would be fantastic. Awesome. If we can survive there a month, that would be even better. Everybody come and attach, god damn it. I suppose Poland won a piece out yet. Yeah? 
Uh, minus 68. Just thinking. What if? No. Taking a minus two. And he's rolling fantastically. Okay, we're screwed. Let's get back. And back to our capital. How was that? Oh, if Poland didn't ally them and instantly join in, we would have had this. So, who else was in it? They're not there. I've already parked on them. Let's just go up there as well, I guess. Siege Berlin and run away. Our capital is under attack. We're not the Emperor, so we can't walk anywhere. We can't get through here at the moment. Don't like our chances with Poland in the war. Dirty cheats. Now oh, let's do it. Let's go here, force them to break that siege. These guys will probably come down though. issues. Do, 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 do. Lose 10 prestige. Spy defense, don't really care. Alright, let's do a regular consolidation. That gives us 8 more limit. So let's go where? Let's do them here. Seven. Can't count. No, that was it. Alright. Hopefully they won't get attacked. They will, I'm sure, by them. Got our claim, yay! Do nothing about it. Idiots need to come and attach to us, or at least be near us. All right, we're at 18. So let's see if we can get a better guy. Two one, it's not fantastic. Two three is better. Put him here. Yep. All right, these both having attachments. They are. Look at the size of his army. God damn it. In the woods. Hmm. Well, can we get access up here? No. We can squeeze through there. Let's try and do that. Hopefully these guys will attach on the way past. And you Silesia, come on. Silesia, be supportive. Poland's in the war. Victor, we'll go past and go there. Hey, we're Emperor. 
1448, and we're emperor. Uh, everything would be perfect if Poland wasn't in this stupid war. Improve our prestige. Sure, that'll totally happen. These idiots should have attached. They shouldn't be standing there. Alright, but being emperor. Where am I going? This one gives us a buttload more force limits, so. Yeah, if we try and do this, we'll get caught out. We're gonna have to wait till we take a province up here. Like that. Ooh, now we're out of money. Horrible. Well, that means we're going to have to fire this guy. Now we're just going to have to fire this guy for now. So we need all the money. Can't fire the military guy because he's given us discipline. Good on you. Come to Visma. Come join us. All fun and games over here. Until your capital gets attacked. Florence, where are you? Give it back. Pomerania. Yeah, screw the prestige. We don't need people to vote for us. We're only 24. And we're not taking a weak claim, thank you. Even be able to build up far enough to match their armies. So we're trying to take Prague. It's the weird looking chicken thing. I don't know what that actually is. Mazovia. Could go and have a look, but. Alright, he's getting screwed. Also by. Shootings and Livonians. Right. Hmm. So the reason for wanting to do this war this way, except for Poland, was that you can actually take these guys out. Pomerania hasn't handed that over yet. Alright, you can do this, like completely get rid of this elector. Pomerania, do you actually have a claim? No, you don't. Hand it over. Um, you can completely dissolve Brandenburg, and it's not actually not too bad. The uh, overextension's like 52, so there's a couple of countries that can form a coalition, but as long as you don't get caught fabricating claims, you can get rid of it within like a couple of days. It's pretty cool. Alright, now you don't have it. So, we could take all of this, and it would be a little higher this time. It's a little weird. Hmm, I wonder what's changed. Mighty Fortress in Prague is under attack again. As long as you don't actually take it, then, you know. Oh, it's still way under. We are still losing money hand over fist. How can we make money? That's the question. I'm just going to have to take a bunch of loans. I've no, no, I've taken the gold mine. That's why. Hmm. Well, in that case, we'll get these guys. We will piece them out, and we'll go get our gold mine back. From right next to all their armies. So we'll actually go over here first. We'll do that now. Rostock. Alright, so can't actually piece Mazovia out, can't piece anyone out except them. Where is his capital when it's not Warsaw? Krakow, okay. Well, this guy has siege. He's going to try and kill them. No, that's stupid. Let's go over here reinforce from there, so it sounds good. Is 
So as he stays there trying to take out the capital, which he just broke off again. Because of this. Why the hell would we get them that way? Over there. Alright, go the other direction to where I just told you. Should have checked their pathing. He was coming down there, wasn't he? Alright. Rush stock is under attack. Yes, it is. It shouldn't be. So, super piece. Could we actually just vassalize you? That would be an acceptable outcome. New. Could we core that? You shouldn't be able to do this unless you can core it, so let's find out. I don't care about your alliances. Well, we do. And we need prestige. And we definitely need money, so I'll see if that'll work. We can actually core that. Awesome. Let's buy this down once and then start making that a core. Hopefully nobody will realise it's ours now and go and siege it down. Teutonic Order 1 access, absolutely. So our army went there. I think they'll need to stay there for a couple of months. About to take this. Good. What kind of dumbass leaves that. Damn it. Hungry. There's three, buddy. Perfect. If we can actually sneak past. You can't see what we're doing. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, so what did Poland think of that? Probably very little. It was 38. Nothing these guys can actually do. So here we are, Emperor. Let's bring these guys down here. That's not what I was trying to do. Go there, and then go there. Let's do another war with Hungary and Austria. And this is still looking good. So we might as well improve with these guys. Off the military access first. see how badly it's going to go. We've got pretty much everything but our capital at the moment. So we'll pick off the easies wherever we can. One Bessarabia. Needs to take an actual Polish fort. Can't get any easy ones anywhere. It's Lithuania's capital. Vilnius. Yep. Alright, well, take another look at Poland. Come on. What would we have to offer you now? And our overlordship is Silesia. Well. Let's go do some occupations. So we've got 42% on there. This one's a little worse. Another loan, it's not good. Clock. Fine. Alright, we've arrived on both of them, so. Poland. Minus 29. Isn't that worse? Overlord, all right, let's see if we can figure something else out. That's worth 23 war score. What if we'll let you humiliate us? Yep. War reps, say you don't want it, but sometimes you do. Now, concessions other than gold. That's to minus 19. We null treaties with Hungary. 
Oh, I actually don't care about that. We can return Pisma. It's minus 11. It's getting us closer. I reckon they don't want right to bore. They're right. Oh, look at that. We could give Visma back. Don't really want to do that, but it would get these guys out of the war. Hmm. Do not want to give them a chance to take anything else. Alright, well, let's save that. Let's take a quick look at pouring progress. Did I even start doing it? I did. 17%, yeah. All right, get a bit of it back. So, Poland, you son of a bitch. God damn it. Am I doing Seed Province? No, offer. Duh, that's why. Alright, give him money we don't have, take out a couple of loans. And it sounds pretty good. Send that. Get them out. Alright, now they reckon Brandenburg's holding all this. He's only got 7,000 men. We are losing a crap ton of money. We need to really get rid of these mercenaries. Leaves us with nothing, but just can't afford them. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take a short break here. When we come back, we will take out this elector. So hope you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. See you later.